Hey there, what is going on everybody? I hope you are doing well. Today I wanted to talk to you about the two grinders that are currently on my bar, the Baratza Vario and the Fellow Ode. To me, these are two of the best value for money grinders out there, making them really good options for beginners who are getting more serious about coffee. Both of these grinders make amazing coffee from day one, but they also have interesting upgrade paths that can make them even better as your preferences change and develop over time. But they each also have their own unique set of limitations. So let's take a look at who these grinders are for, and if you're looking for a two grinder setup, why I think these make a great pair. So starting off with the Barazza, you get a fairly wide grinding range from espresso to filter. You also get a grounds catch bin as well as a porter filter holder for either situation. But if you want to do both and you have the grinder set up for espresso, you can only really go coarse enough for a V60, at least in my experience. So if you want to go coarser and do a Chemex or something like an immersion brewer, say a French press, then you're gonna to have to use this tool to adjust the calibration on your grinder and move it coarser. Now this moves the entire range coarser. So as you get into being able to do something like a Chemex or a French press, you're gonna lose the ability or at least lose some of your range for espresso. Not to mention that even within this limitation, switching from filter to espresso can be pretty cumbersome. If I'm trying to brew espresso as well as filter, say an espresso for me and a filter coffee for my wife, then it's really tricky to nail the grind coming back to espresso. And you're really likely to waste a lot of coffee adjusting the grind in each case. And I find that if you do this enough, the calibration of the grinder can actually shift a little bit. So the grind that was once really good for your espresso is now a little bit off. Now, having owned the Brazza for nearly 10 years, this grinder has really grown with me. When I got it, it had ceramic burrs, which I really liked the profile of for a long time. But as my tastes and preferences developed, and honestly, as uh, more interesting and nuanced coffees became available, I really wanted to try something that offered a little bit more clarity and a little bit more nuance to both filter and espresso. And when I made the change to the stainless steel burr set, it was like having a totally different grinder that suddenly suited my tastes much better. And having this option available is one of the reasons that this grinder is still here. I was able to make a $60 upgrade instead of having to spring for the Barazza Forte, which is a nearly $900 grinder where these burrs come standard. So speaking of repairs and upgrades, about a year ago, I sent this off to Barazza in Washington for their repair program. They fixed a bunch of issues that I had with it, as well as they upgraded the burr carry to a stainless steel burr carry, which holds alignment a lot better and just generally feels a lot more solid. So internally, this is basically a Vario Plus with stainless steel burr set and just the, you know, old styling. <laughs> So now let's talk about the Ode. The Ode is a dedicated filter grinder that is minimally designed, meaning that it will fit into pretty much any kitchen really nicely. I picked this grinder up about a year ago and have been using it almost exclusively for pour over coffee. It doesn't go as fine as some would like, but I find that it's perfectly adequate for a 400 ml or a half liter brew of a V60, which is what I do pretty much every day. And I found that the grind profile going coarser is way better than the Vario, making it really flexible for a French press, Chemex, or even a siphon if I really feel like making a siphon. And the adjustment system on the Ode is way more intuitive than it is on the Vario. And I performed a stepless mod on it, and to be honest, I don't really find myself in between settings too often, but I do really enjoy the feel of just the smooth dial without those little tactile bumps. Now the Ode is also a single dosing grinder, which is honestly kind of a mixed bag for me because of the way that it's set up. You sometimes get beans that are caught in the hopper, so you have to kind of push them down and make sure that they get through. And then once they do get through, then you end up with a lot of static if you don't use a method called RDT, which you basically have to do with this grinder. The grinds catch bin is really nice that it's magnetic and it kind of locks right into place, but the little cover that comes with it, I pretty much put away into the cabinet around day one or two and just haven't gone back for it. I don't find that it works particularly well. It just gets dirty really easily and generally is just in the way. But what makes this grinder so appealing for enthusiasts is the 64 millimeter burr set. The 64 millimeter format is common in many more expensive grinders, meaning that there are lots of upgrade options if your preferences change and your wallet can support it. You have options from SSP, Mazur, Gorilla Gear, and Fellow actually developed a new set of burrs in-house for this grinder. So making the switch can really change how the grinder performs and make it feel like a totally different and new grinder. However, no matter which burr set you go with, because of the size and power of the motor in the Fellow, there's no official support for espresso and you're likely to burn out the grinder if you pull lots of espresso shots with it. So let's get into why I personally pair this grinder up with the Vario. 
So these two grinders work really well together because one solves for problems that the other one has and vice versa. The Vario really excels at espresso, but it's a little bit limited in how far you can go for filter without messing with the calibration. And the O does a really great job with a wide range of filter options, making up for the fact, to me at least, that it can't do espresso. And out of the box, if single dosing is important to you, the Ode is a little bit better as a single dosing grinder, even with issues that I mentioned before. There are some options out there to convert the Barossa to a single dose grinder, but none of them are quite as elegant as what the Fellow offers. So for me right now, I'm really happy to own both of these grinders. Having both of them removes the friction point that I described earlier and eliminates the waste of having to switch back and forth from espresso to filter, which means that not only am I saving a little bit of money, but I'm using my espresso machine a whole lot more. And I think that that's kind of the thing with these sub $1,000 all-in-one grinders is that if you really wanna do everything with it, the switching back and forth and redialing in here and there is going to add up over time. And eventually for me, it really made a $300 brew grinder feel like it was totally worth it. Now, to be fair, I did buy the Barazza a really long time ago, almost 10 years ago. So some of you might be sitting there wondering, well, what about the DF64? And that's a fair question. It comes in about the same price point as the Vario with a much easier to understand and operate adjustment system. And if I were making that choice today, I think at first it would be kind of a difficult one because the feature set is so similar and has a much easier to understand and operate adjustment system. But looking at the track record of Barazza and their repair program versus something like the DF64 or some of these newer grinders to the market, I really have a lot more confidence going with something from Barazza. Because if you do decide to upgrade down the road and something goes wrong for whatever reason, Barazza has your back with a really clear and easy to understand repair program. You essentially pay a flat fee, turn up at the UPS store with the grinder, and they will pack it up and send it off to Barazza for you, and you get it back in about a week or two. My parents even did this with their Encore, and it came back working way better than it actually did when they first bought it. Now, of course, the DF64 and some of these other grinders out there do work with some nice suppliers that have service in-house, but knowing that Barazza has my back direct from them is kind of more than enough for me to sway me away from other options. So then why the Ode and not something else from Barazza? Well, to be honest with you, I wanted something that was aesthetically a little bit different and was really minimal, could fit in my kitchen pretty easily since I'm gonna have two grinders in the kitchen. And the enthusiast community has really embraced the Ode and seeing how they responded to that with offering lots of neat tutorials on how to change out your burrs, as well as offering a two or three year warranty on some of their products made me feel comfortable enough going with Fellow for this grinder. So what about future upgrades to this current setup? Well, I'm pretty happy with the Barazza in its current state, so I probably wouldn't change anything there except maybe try a single dose hopper. On the Ode though, the burrs are a bit of a limitation and I would definitely be curious to try out either the Gen 2 burrs from Fellow or the SSP burrs. But for right now, honestly, I am pretty content. This setup will go from espresso all the way through the range of filter options, which is more than enough for most people. But having said that, I think if you want something that covers the whole gamut from espresso through the filter range without the unnecessary waste of coffee, and need to calibrate and dial in every single time, this is the best way to go. And now I am curious about your setups. Are you going from espresso fine all the way to very coarse filter brews? Was I wrong about the DF64 and some of the other grinders out there? Let me know down in the comments and while you're there, please consider subscribing. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Take care.